than me. Lead. Lead. Because this mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. I'm Lori, and it's August 7th, Wednesday. Yeah. What a day. Yeah, we're almost that, what do they call it, hump day? Yeah. It is, Wednesday. No, Wednesday is hump day. Yep. Yeah. So we're back. <laughs> we're humping it. We're, we're humping <laughs> along here trying to get through the week. That's true. Um, so today we're going to finish up um, talking to you about some of the... Well, we're not going to finish up. we well, got a whole week worth yeah. of shows on heat. That's true. Related problems. Episode. Yeah. Episodes. So squirrel, re-race that. Yeah. <laughs> so Today's heat exhaustion <laughs> and Corinne's suffering with a little bit of heat exhaustion. Yes, she I She was am. out yesterday in the sun. I am. So. And um, heat exhaustion is a milder form of heat-related illnesses. You can actually suffer from it after you have been exposed for several days, or it could take several days to mm -hmm. affect you, so that's probably what's wrong with me. <laughs> well, and, you know, uh, Gary, our producer, mm -hmm. Gelman here, he... Uh, he suffered a little bout of heat exhaustion or heat stroke mm -hmm. or heat stress or something for the first time. He'd ridden his bicycle about 150 miles one morning before he stopped in. Oh, 10 miles, he said. 10 miles before he stopped in Jimmy's Egg for some breakfast, and then he got so sick he thought he was going to have to call 911 for an ambulance. Mm -hmm. But uh, So it's either the food well, was, he hadn't eaten he, yet. Oh, he hasn't. That's before yet. he ever started eating, man. He had to tell him, "I don't know if I can eat or not." <laughs> uh, but I think he was dehydrated, which is Probably. another important thing: it is. is to it stay is. hydrated. It is. It is. So we have some signs and symptoms um, for you today. So Gary, pay close attention, so you'll know. No, from now on, when to recognize <laughs> the signs of your heat exhaustion. Yes. Okay. So the first one is actually heavy sweating. Um, paleness, um, your skin may be cool, cool or moist. moist. Mm -hmm. uh, muscle cramps. Do you have any muscle cramps, Gary? No. No, no muscle cramps that day. How about tiredness and weakness? Yes. Were you weak yeah. as a kitten, as they say? Uh, yeah. Gary didn't know he was going to be part of the show today, <laughs> but since he did suffer this, we're, we're just checking the symptoms with Gary right. to make sure we can diagnose right. him. Before the show's over today, so we did tired and weakness. Oh, yep. Uh, we're not, quit jumping the gun. The list isn't <laughs> over right. yet. Oh, it's not even on here. Elevated mm -mm. heart rate. Dizziness. Nope. Yes. And, pul oh, pulse yeah. rate. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. So Fast let's, or weak. Uh, we stopped off at tired and weakness. Dizziness and fainting. Of course, if you faint, you're pretty well going to know you're exhausted from right. something, right? Right. Uh, headache. Not any one of these by itself right. means heat exhaustion. But if you got two or three of these things going on, you better yeah, start you need paying to pay attention. You need to pay attention and get uh, in a cool Nausea spot. and vomiting. Mm -hmm. That would turn me off right there. And then, of course, your pulse rate, whether it's too fast or whether it's, it's weak. And then breathing fast or shallow. So if you experience any of these and you have been um, outside... Um, you know, seek some medical attention or get somewhere, um, you know, and try to um, cool off. And remember, these symptoms can develop um, days after being exposed um, to the high temperatures and um, inadequate fluids. So make sure that you stay um, hydrated when you're out. Pay close attention to your residents, your patients, your clients. Um, make sure that um, they're drinking enough fluids um, as well. You know, keep track of that. And um, also, you don't have to just be outside yeah, either for you can heat be inside to too. happen. If you're working up a storm, uh, I can remember being on the floor many times as a CNA and just think mm -hmm. I was going to pass out because I yeah. was so hot. So. You know, when we have to keep it at a certain temperature for our residents, mm -hmm. we're going to elevate our own temperature. So, right. uh, you know, they say drink plenty of water, and I'm not going to disagree with that, whether you're inside, outside, or where, if you're working up a sweat. But uh, in Gary's case, I told him once you're already dehydrated, water's not going to help you out mm -hmm. anymore. you got to go straight to the Gatorade or the Powerades with those electrolytes because... Right. Dehydration, and I'm not a nurse, I just know this from experience, that dehydration 
um, is not something that's easy. It affects your electrolytes, your mental condition. Yes, it does. Everything. So uh, once you've got dehydration, and one way to tell is uh, Lisa always told me, Lisa Sweet, that if you pinch the back of your hand like this, and it takes a while for it to go down, then, then you're, you're dehydrated. dehydrated. If your skin pops right back into place, then you're pretty well hydrated, so. And make sure that um, in your facilities and stuff that you are making sure that um, your residents do have adequate um, fluids. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, do a hydration pass and just keep track on them. I saw a resident with his mouth on the <laughs> lemonade spigot the other day in one of the buildings just drinking right out of the lemonade jug. So, I you can know, see you doing that. Let, well, I probably will. <laughs> But let's see if we can't put some glasses or something out too so they can just yeah. like, those who are capable wouldn't mm -hmm. have to drink out of the <laughs> hydrant. <laughs> let's get them a real glass or something for crying out loud, paper yeah. cup or something. That's true. So just, just take care of yourself. Um, watch out for yourself. Watch out for family members and especially take care of those precious um, residents. So... Um, you guys will come back and uh, join us again on the 9th, and we'll have some more um, information for you for some more heat related yes. information because we yes. are sizzling hot <laughs> here at the chill spot. <laughs> and until we see you on Friday, you remember that you matter. matter.